Now this is iMind. Uh, in this video we're going to be going over the d, &D Beyond maps and how to just access it. Um, just let you know this is um, in alpha stage so there will be bugs, it will be limited. Um, it's currently in development. Um, also you can only access it if you are um, a d uh, master tier subscriber. Um, but yeah, um, it is pretty intuitive. Um, so basically, yeah, we just go to maps, tools, maps. Uh, you'll then be asked to ch choose um, a campaign um, to load this in, or you can use a pre made campaign. I'm going to go to my test one. Um, you'll get this, which tells you about anything that's new, and you can choose to hide it. Um, you'll load you with the most basic um, map. Um, to access different maps, click here. Open map browser. Um, better yet, I'm going to. So the reason why I'm choosing is because I've already done the test. So if I do a different one, because when you first load up maps, you get the map browser straight away. Um, otherwise, you see what you saw before, but you just and it just lists it. Um, the map browser, which you can access by clicking this icon on the top here. Um, you got uh, maps that you have lo loaded. You can see one that was loaded before the test. Um, you got basic maps, which are maps that you can use for free, so they're already there for you. Um, and then you got the adventures that you have unlocked or gained access to. I believe um, sharing may not enable these. You would have to buy them yourself. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that. Maybe do some testing. Um, also with noting, um, if you have recently bought the book, um, it may take some time um, for it to actually show up. Here we're using the Fandelva one. Fandelva below, Shadow Obelisk. Um, and wherever else I might have. Um, I know there's another Fandalva one that I don't know if I have access to. I probably don't. Uh, not all books are supported. Um, you will see on the uh, marketplace if it's supported or not before you buy it. Um, for example, so you'd have to check. Um, only digital ones, um, and usually adventures will have maps. Um, for some reason, it doesn't actually tell you here in these listings if it's going to have one or not. Um, you would need to click on it. Um, since I chose Vandalver, there it is. And there you go. So if it unlocks maps, you will see this here below that cut button. Um, this case, three six maps. Um, if you have just bought it, it will take some time for it to actually um, show up. Because although you can access the book directly pretty much straight away, it does take time for the licensing to propagate into all the tools. Um, so if you um, I waited about 24 hours is a maximum I think it should take. Um, if it takes longer than that, um, you can use this link down here, contact us. Um, you can also check um, if your account um, entitlements are in sync, just making sure that refreshes your um, licensing by going to your profile account. And then licenses. So at the top here would be account entitlements. Um, in this case, my entitlements are in sync. If they were not in sync, there would be a little black button to resync, which you would click and it would resync them. Um, whether or not it would work it depends on different factors. If it doesn't and it's been 24 hours, then use the contact us link. Um, but yeah, so this is just how you do it. So if you were to put 
You can see there's a DM version, player version. I'm not going to go fully into the ins and outs of maps because you can just pretty much just find out for, for pretty easily. Um, click the button, and now it's added, and then you can scroll around, and you got tools, uh, fog of war, um, you can draw, um, you got rulers to show feats and stuff, token browsers, um, I think I needed to click and drag that. No, oh, right, it's it's very small. <laughs> there, there. Yeah, this is a bigger map, so this is why it's. Thing. Um, spectator view down here. You got full screen. You got spectator view. I think this shows what um players see so if we start the session we see what the players see that's one way um sessions are a thing you pause a session i think that just means that they can still so the player would see this you can make your updates make changes you can resume the session um or you can end the session and so on. Um, it is pretty simple. You have the game log here for dice uh, rolls. Um, it is pretty. It's very very simple. Um, that is what it is. The session thing just means that if it takes too long with no one moving tokens, no one doing anything, um, it will sort of time out. Um, this is to save on resources and because. Um, uh, changing who can do what. Um, at the moment, I think everyone can do everything, and there's no one to do anything but that. But that's something that's going to change. But in the meantime, it will time out so that you can't. Um, they can't just mess around with it, and so on. It's like a security thing. That's pretty much all it is. Um, there's nothing much to the maps. Um, one thing you can do is if your map is not in. Um, here um, because for whatever reason you don't have that map or it's not unlocked or you don't have the book um, or because it doesn't get done through sharing you can generally find the map um, elsewhere if you have if you have it for example if you have it on D, &D beyond but it's not in the maps feature which is what I did with um, Dragon Vice Pirate Peak um, you can like go into the book scroll up there we go um like this is a, this was a map from Dragon Vice Five Peak. I just went into the book on D and Beyond. Um right click save as um and then uploaded it and there it is. Um so you can also upload your own maps. Um any maps that you find from adventures online. Um you can import them fairly easily as well. That's pretty much it. That's just all the maps is. Um, they will be updating features and making it better. But at the moment, that's pretty much all you get, um, which is usually enough. There you go.